Well, let's go on everybody. It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I left the house earlier this morning to take Chloe somewhere and it was 48 degrees. It's already up to 67, but it's supposed to get cold her um, next couple days, so we'll see. What kind of YouTuber am I? So, what kind of YouTuber am I? Well, let's, let's think about it. Who are some of my most inspirational YouTubers out there um, that I've followed, that I've watched, that I've kept up with over the years? Number one be Casey Neistat. And you may not like him, that, that's, that's fine. You may not know who I'm talking about, but he was a vlogger from New York that he revolutionary revolutionized vlogging he brought it to what it is today then you have Roman Atwood same thing he turned several years of his life into a vlog so there's a the vlogging aspect there there's there's what I like about the vlogging part what I'm doing right now is considered vlogging Then I guess there's the other aspect of the photography and filmmaking version. Okay, we'll take a look at, I'm gonna name off three, three of them that come to mind. The first one, um, and I've, he's a fairly new channel, only got 200,000 subscribers. 200,000, Jesus. Actually, I think he's got a quarter million now. And that's the story till now. If you don't know who he is, I will leave a link to all of these guys down below. Story to now is from Canada. Um, I love his filmmaking of the videos, the off-road, the overlanding style videos. I love it. This guy's drone footage is top-notch, 100% way more than what anybody I've ever seen do. So the next guy I have in mind when it comes to outdoor storytelling type videos is Primal Outdoors. And the one guy that I, I really, I've watched, I've watched Jason for a long time. I've conversed with him a couple times in, you know, comments. But I really appreciate what he does with the video making and the filmmaking and everything. I'll put a link to his channel down below if you don't know who he is. Um, but Primal Outdoors is out in Central Oregon. But he goes all over, lives in a van, blah, blah, blah. So the other guy, when it comes to photography and filmmaking, that really blows my mind what he puts out, what he can do with a camera, what he can do with the software, what he can do with putting it together, is Peter McKinnon. I don't know what it is about the Canadians, but they've got, seem like they have the outdoor community sewed up sometimes. But Peter McKinnon can take a simple thing as, such as that ring and turn it into a nine minute masterpiece. So who do I inspire to be the most of that bunch? All of them. But at, at, at the bottom of it all, I inspire to be me and take snippets of each and every one of them and put them in my videos. The storytelling, the, the cinematic footage of, you know, us off-roading or us camping or whatever. The photography end of it, that cool picture you can capture first thing in the morning or late in the afternoon or during the day even um, picture of your one of your family members walking in front of you in the abyss of woods you know um, that's who I inspire to be is me but I like taking hints from those guys and what they put into their videos and their phot their photography and all that um that's that's the sweet thing about youtube you can be a vlogger 
you can be cinematic you can be a product guy you can be a photographer putting your photography on YouTube your films on YouTube your adventures on YouTube your how to's on YouTube that is what is so sweet about YouTube as bad as people beat up on YouTube which it has its faults it does have its faults hands down there's not a platform out there that doesn't have some kind of fault but you learn how to work around them and work with them and create your craft the way you want to create it and present it so which which youtuber am i i'm all of those i'm a vlogger i'm a adventure i'm a product i'm a you know photographer am i professional in any of it no and that's the sweet part about it you do not have to be a professional to do youtube you have to find a passion my passion is outdoors it doesn't matter what i'm doing outdoors it's getting out of that box out of that house and doing more seeing things um, experiencing things with friends by yourself whatever I do a lot of solo stuff and I, sometimes I feel like I get some of my best stuff done solo than I do when I'm with a whole bunch of people anyways guys that's it hope you get something out of this I appreciate you watching See you on the next one. Be prepared.